Part of that domestic situation, police telling us, involved Kelly sending threatening text messages to his mother-in-law who attended the church, but she was not there on Sunday. CNN is reporting one of the victims is the gunman's grandmother-in-law, Lula White. According to friends, White volunteered frequently at the church. We do have team coverage for you today from Sutherland Springs and San Antonio. We begin with Marianne Martinez. She's in San Antonio where doctors just spoke. Marianne. Well, Ken, we are learning an eight-year-old child who was being treated here at University Hospital has died. That child was among the 20 people who were airlifted out of that small town, brought here to San Antonio for medical treatment. Now, what they are not telling us at this point is if that death from this child is part of the 26 deaths we know about or if this is an additional death, bringing the total to 27. Nine people from First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs were taken to San Antonio for medical care, among them an eight-year-old child who has died. Six people remain in the hospital at University Hospital in San Antonio, three of them in critical condition. Two of those hanging on to life are children. Doctors say they spent hours in the operating room with them yesterday and again today. The surgeon also described another victim as having been trampled as chaos broke out in the church during the 11 a.m. service when the shooting started. The San Antonio doctor, a former Army surgeon, says the children were the most badly injured. Seeing an injured kid, particularly when it's an injured child in your community, it's gut-wrenching. A terrible description of the wounds that he is seeing. Now, there are eight other patients at Brook Army Medical Center across town. They are also in various conditions. Now, we are awaiting a press conference from the Texas Department of Public Safety. That is the lead agency. That will happen tonight at 7 p.m. But we are also learning more on the investigation, and Brian New is in Sutherland Springs with that part of the story.